guys welcome welcome back to my channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right so we have a new natural hair video you guys have been asking about my wash and go process for a while now i do switch things up for the summer so thanks to my friends at target for sponsoring today's video i am giving you guys my easy and simple wash and go process using these products um quick note i am coming fresh off of a protective style so my twist i had in for I want to say almost four weeks, which is a, probably a record for me because I can't remember the last time I kept it here so that long. Um, so I am going to be doing a little bit different at the beginning. You guys will all see it. So I'm going to stop talking to let you guys see my wash and go process. Did I say it before? Thanks to Target for sponsoring today's video. All right. So it's the day before I just took down um, my twist for those that aren't following. I've had my Marley twist in. I want to say four weeks, which is big because I don't remember the last time I had hairstyle in four weeks. Anyway, I literally just took it down. Um, so you can see all of the buildup and it just happens from me constantly putting in like edge control. And then I have like really like dry and I have um, a little bit of mild eczema in my hair. So you can see there's a lot of buildup. Um, so I don't immediately want to put like shampoo in my hair i do want to condition it a little bit because my hair has been in a protective style for four weeks so this is what i do as soon as i take it down and the reason why i'm doing this the day before is because this will sit in my hair overnight i'm going to put on a shower cap and then put my satin cap on top of that so this is going to sit in my hair for overnight and then i'll rinse it out in the morning so first thing is we're going to do the aunt jackie's and this is not on my watch k-n-o-t which really helps. So I'm going to put that in first. You can technically use this as um, a rinse out like I'm doing, or you could actually do a detangler. I'm going to do a little bit of both. Um, and I'm doing it on dry hair. I haven't done anything like moisturized to my hair, like as far as water. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do one as a pre-treatment. So I'm going to let this sit in my hair. And then I'm also going to put in a little bit after I get through shampooing my hair when I also put in the leave-in conditioner. So this is actually, if you don't have this, it's really good for getting out like detangles and knots, which is what my hair isn't really in knots, but it does have like some detangling that needs to get out of. So I'm going to thoroughly saturate my hair with that. I also love that it's inexpensive because I can thoroughly saturate my hair and not feel guilty about it. So I'm just applying a very generous amount um, to my hair. And you can separate your hair into fours. I'm just doing half and half. Okay, and so once that is in there, I'm also gonna put in a little bit of a conditioner. It's gonna act as an overnight conditioner for today. I'm using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream um, Curl Conditioner. I like this one because it says instantly boost and soften. So and this is no silicones, no parabates, no parabens, all that good stuff. So same thing with conditioner. I'm going to apply a very generous portion. Once again, guys, same thing. I have not put any um, water in my hair applying straight to dry hair but i'm making sure that this is get like i'm getting you guys can see i'm being very generous with this conditioner and then i'm raking my hair through that's what i love about that not on my watch is that it does provide a lot of um ability to like detangle your hair all right so this is what we're looking like and like I said, I am going to put on a little plastic cap and then I'm going to put my satin cap on top of this just to give it a little bit of um, heat inducing to make sure that this gets into my scalp. So let me do the same thing that I did on this side on this side.
is thoroughly saturated. Like I said, I didn't use any water. This is just strictly the um, Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch um, Instant Detangling Therapy and then the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream um, Curl Con Quenching Conditioner. I'm using this tonight and I'm also gonna use it tomorrow. Tonight's gonna be more like a deep conditioner. I am gonna sit with this overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna shampoo with this same um, collection and then use this conditioner but I'm only gonna have the conditioner in for like three or four minutes so I am using it as like a deep conditioning and then I'm also gonna use it as a quick conditioner so I am just going to put my hair in a pineapple like so put on a, um, a plastic cap and then I'm gonna put on my satin cap and I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning Okay, so it is the next morning. I just did my skincare routine. My hair has been up in this little bun um, all of night. I really have to say like my hair was, I don't have, I wouldn't say I have like really dry hair, but my hair has moments where it gets really dry. So my hair feels like really soft now. Also because I put in that detangler, you see how easy to like run my hands through my hair. And then it's even giving me, ooh, curls are popping so that's why I do that I get a lot of people that ask why I don't immediately start like either shampooing or conditioning my hair I like to apply all those products while they're wet because for both of them let's see I don't have the other one with me but this one the first ingredient on this conditioner is water so there's already a little moisture in the conditioner also same thing in the detangler the first ingredient is water that's why I didn't put water in my hair so this has been in, like I said, overnight. It's actually a little later because um, I did that relatively earlier in the day. So it's probably been in for over 12 hours. So I'm going to shampoo my hair. I'm using the same line, the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Shampoo. And I'm using this one because it says for very dry, curly to coily hair. I like using this when I'm done with a protective style because as much as I feel like I am trying to moisturize my hair and oil my braids and oil my twists, I don't do a really good job of it and so my hair ends up being dry. So I like to use this collection when I do that. Um, and then I'm also gonna, like I said before, I am gonna do the conditioner. However, I'm gonna keep it in for about three to four minutes. Um, the suggested time, let's see, it doesn't say how long. It just says after shampooing, thoroughly wet wear, massage gently into hair, rinse well, follow with the mask. So, I'm not going to use it that long, maybe like three to five minutes max, and then I'll come back to show you guys. I'm only using, I can't decide which one. Um, I got a lot of recommendations for both of them, and they were both um, at Target, which I'm excited about. Both, um, well, they're both from the same brand, but they're black owned, so I definitely want to try. I just don't know which one, so let me shampoo and condition my hair, and then I'll come back. We'll probably move this. Maybe we'll stay in here. I don't know. Let me shampoo and condition my hair, and then I'll come back. All right, so we are freshly washed and conditioned. I got that turban. It's like a really cute head wrap from Target as well. I'll link that below if you guys want it. So this is my hair. There is no product. I did leave the conditioner in for about five to seven minutes long enough to make my coffee. This is what we're looking like. on freshly washed hair so let me i don't put my hair into four sections i'm pretty sure you probably could i however like to take the easier lazy day approach so i just cut mine in half so first things first we are going to put in some leave-in conditioner this is the carol's daughter goddess strength divine leave-in conditioner and unlike this one is for weak or breakage prone hair mine doesn't do any of that but i figured we want to be proactive than reactive so this is the leave-in conditioner that i'm using so we're going to put that and i like to work on one section at a time so we're going to do the leave-in and then we're going to do the styling on one side and then we're going to do the leave-in and the styling on the next side and if any instance that this hair because i like my hair not soaking wet but wet um, if this hair gets a little dried out, I do have my water bottle over here. So I just like to put this in and then I'm raking as I'm putting it in to make sure that I get it to all strands. So I did that and the reason why I do it in two instead of four is because the first patch of conditioner I put on top of my head. When I do this next batch and I'm using about this much on each side, I will flip my hair over and put it underneath and then rake it through there. That way you're not missing any pieces on the bottom. Alright, 
so the two products that I picked up, and I even to this day, I'm not sure which one to use, is this is the Dew. This is their most deaf texture foam. I, one of um, my good bloggers, she uses this, and this is all she uses. And it says it's good for wash and goes, twist outs, broad sets, blowouts, conditions, defines, and shines in one step. No crunch, cuts down and drying time in half. So we have this one also by the same person the do is the big papa pop and curl notorious definition defining gel we have this part of me wants to go towards this because my wash and goes lately have been really simple it's been a leave-in conditioner and a gel um i'm not really sure how defined this mousse is going to be Ugh. decisions decisions I've heard a lot of things about this one. Um, I really haven't heard anything about this one. I just, when I went on to Target's website, I saw, I just checked their entire collection and I saw that they had the defining gel. And I'm like, oh, I use this. And it says it's good. No crunching, flaking, washing, goes, twists, braid outs. Defines, curls. Oh, this one fights frizz and humidity. Does this fight frizz and humidity? It doesn't say. There is nothing that says Silk, oh, it says humidity blocking polymers fight frizz. Ugh. I'm gonna go with the gel. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go with the mousse. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna go with the mousse. Okay, let's do this. both now that I'm thinking about it because I don't know like I like for my curls to pop I'm gonna do both I'm gonna do a little bit of both I'm gonna do a little bit of both I'm gonna start off with the mousse this will be like my curl cream So this is what we're looking like with just the mousse. And then I'm gonna go in with just a, just a smidge of gel, guys. I, I probably could do without it. I just, I don't know a wash and go without gel. I've always done gel. So we're gonna go with just a little. Oh, that smells pretty good. So we're just gonna go with a little. Just enough to give it a little bit of a little bit more texture. Oh, that feels good. It doesn't feel like, I can see why it says no flaking. It doesn't feel like your normal, like eco styler type gel. It actually feels really good. Okay. I said I was gonna let me do a little, only do a little. All right, so let me take this down. I am gonna have to wet this because you guys, it's getting a little drier. So this is what we are looking like with product. And then this is what we we're looking like with no product. So you can clearly tell the difference. So let me do, let me hurry up and do this side. All right, so both sides are done. I will have to say that mousse, if it does what it continues to do, it might be forever changed. Um, so I'm going to put my hair up in a pineapple, not a, um, not a tight pineapple. Cause I don't want to stretch my hair that bad. But a very loose pineapple. And then I'm gonna take some of these clips and just clip my hair out of the way so I can function as an adult <laughs> while this dries. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my head up like this for a few hours. I don't like to immediately start diffusing and blow drying, I'll probably leave it like this for probably about three hours while I'm just doing work. And then I'm going to diffuse and then I'm going to blow dry. I diffuse for like 10 minutes um, and then I'm going to blow dry. I'm going to put on my makeup and then we'll come back with the final results. All right. So these are the final results. Um, 
really quick i let my hair air dry for about two hours i diffused it for about 15 minutes and then i took the diffuser off and just let it um dry for about i don't know probably took me about 10 15 minutes or so to let it like get all the way dry and then i stretched my hair I, i've seen it i've showed you guys before how i stretch my hair if not i will put the wash and go process that i did and the um cards up here but it's the same thing um, put my hair down the middle and then put some satin ponytails or satin ponytail holders and then let it stretch for about 15 minutes. So these are the final results. Let me do a really, really quick 360. So we have the front, the side, the back, the side, and back to the front. Um, overall, this is my first time using the Dew. I have heard really, really good things about it. And so far, so good. I probably, next go around, will probably put a little bit more gel on mine because... And it's probably weird, but I like for once my hair is fully straightened for the cast to be really hard because then I know that I'll have a lot of definition for a longer. So I'm able to go longer in between wash and goes. This one, um, as you guys can tell, the curls are still popping, but I can tell that the cast wasn't as hard. So instead of me being able to go five to seven days with a wash and go, this would probably be three to five days. No biggie, not whatsoever. The curls are still popping so moving forward i'll still use the mousse like the mousse definitely gave me the definition but for the hold factor i'll probably put a little bit more gel in it the next time but definitely love that those two these three products i mean they've just been a staple i think i've been obsessed with carol's daughter since i first started transitioning and they're just it's just a really good um product line so these aren't new i've been using these before like i said this is the cocoa cream shampoo queen conditioner and then this is the goddess strength leave-in conditioner so these are OGs and then I did step out of my comfort zone to try a couple of new products. So, so far so good. Um, I will keep you, I actually will do an update on my Instagram um, to kind of let you guys know how far or how long I was able to last with this wash and go. So if you have made it this far and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Um, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that the other YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm gonna catch you guys a little later. Bye.